29th of October 2023. This is a what a fuck moment. Of course it will be. The title of the thing is What a Fuck Gaza. But is it really about Gaza? We are sitting with a situation that there's a large portion of the Christian world that is so brainwashed about that piece of land, let's call it, and I'm going to call it Palestine. You can call it Israel if you like, that's not, that's not important to me. Fact of the matter is we're talking about a geographical piece of land that sits very strategically between Arabia and the Mediterranean Sea. Now another thing that you have to get and wrap your mind around. If you think what is happening there is about people, you're making a more of a big mistake. It's not about people, it's about money. That is what it is. It's about money. The people are the collateral damage. Now, I have spoken a lot about Triple X, and the fact of the matter is that a large portion of the Western world is controlled by corporates, corporates, not politicians, not political movements, not countries, not governments. It is controlled by capital. Now, the, the capital is the control of this, this capital is seated in America and in London. And they make the plans to promote, preserve and protect their capital. That's what it's all about. I want you to look at this map. Take a close look. That is the Silk Road. That's the ancient Silk Road. Now look where it starts. And it goes through China and Afghanistan and Turkmenistan and Iran and Iraq. And then it gets to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, the Belt and Road project that China is driving is basically a re- incarnation of this, silk, this old silk route and it's all about trade and money but we're sitting there with Palestine, Israel, whatever you want to call it controlling a fairly large portion of the coast on the Mediterranean Sea. Now that country is sitting like a pimple on your butt, right among the Arabs. And there's people that are proclaiming that it is God's chosen people and you know the stories. The reality is that Tel Aviv is controlled by Zionists. They're not Jews, they're Zionists, Gazarians. Nothing to do with what you believe stands, is in the Bible. Get that out of your mind. So those guys are sitting there and they are working together with the corporates and they are planning far in advance. Look at this map. Elon Musk tweeted this and he said, oh the irony. Look how he spells irony. And the, and the map says, the meme says, Iran wants war. Look how close they put their country to our military bases. Let that sink in. Because the United States of America is actually the United States of America. And they're using the American army to protect their assets. Why are they so aggressive towards Iran? Look again at this map. 
Do you see that Silk Road goes through Iran? Now, I spend a lot of time in the Middle East and my hosts in Kuwait, they rarely refer to Iran. They, when they were talking about Iran, they were talking about Persia. They referred it to, a, to it as Persia. Okay. Now, if you look, where was the big shit stirred by the Americans in that Middle East? Iraq. They've isolated Iran. And they had Saudi Arabia in their pockets. But then the Chinese arranged for a diplomatic normalization of relationship between Saudi and Iran. And that really upset the corporates in America. And they're trying everything to fuck that relationship up. Now, on top of that, those two countries has joined BRICS, which is now making it very dangerous for the capital in New York and in London. And you must understand, they've got their country, America, they've got the American military machine at their beck and call. Not at the beck and call of the citizens of America, at the beck and call of the capitalists. The military industrial complex controls the Western world and they're sucking billions of dollars out of the pockets of the taxpayers. Let that sink in. So what are we seeing? What are we seeing here? If you look at this map, the Middle East, now you can see there that little light blue patch there on the left. That is Israel slash Palestine. That is it. And then you've got Lebanon above that, and you've got Syria. Both of them with good access to the Mediterranean Sea. So they are good natural transport routes for the Belt and Road. But this Cretans sitting in Tel Aviv, they want the Belt and Road to go through Israel. Why? So they can close the fucking tap whenever they like. That's what they want. So they fucked up Lebanon and they fucked up Syria. And the Syrian harbors are bombed regularly. All of that to force the Belt and Road through Israel. But the Arabs, the Russians, and the Chinese is not going to fall for that shit. If you look at this map, this is a map of Syria. Now, if you look at the red part here, that is under control of the Syrian government and the Russians. And then there is the section that is under control of Turkey. And then there's a section under control of the Americans. The Americans are illegally in Syria. They are illegally there. What are they doing there? They're stealing Syrian oil. That's what they are doing there. But they are going to get their asses whipped because numbers is against them. For us, the ordinary people, we see things like this. Look how that building was demolished in Gaza. That's what we see. And then we see a thing like this. Israel attacked Palestine, Lebanon, Egypt and Syria all in one day. Israel attacked them. Think about that. And we see images like this. Look at that crater created by that bomb that the Israelis dropped on, Syria, uh, on Gaza. And then they try to make us believe a Hamas rocket that goes off its rocker, misses target and explodes in Gaza, can do that. Fact of the matter is that is a 500 to 1000 kilogram bomb that has been dropped on that place. A rocket that Hamas makes 
cannot do that. It cannot do that. And the images that we see, I have to look at this image and think about this image. Tel Aviv, the terrorized. And look what that Tel Aviv looks like. And then Gaza, the terrorist. And look what Gaza looks like. They go from the point of view that we are all fucking idiots. Now, I must admit, there's a more of a lot of idiots. But there are people with brains. And the people with brains, things doesn't make sense. This whole Middle Eastern fuck-up doesn't make sense if you want to try and apply logics to it. But if you think about it in the context of the money, then it all becomes more clear. So, the mission is to maintain that Israel gateway at the end of the Silk Road, the Belt and Road project. That is their aim, because then they can turn the taps on and off as they like. But the Arabs, the Russians and the Chinese is not going to fall for that cock. It's quite clear they're not going to fall for it. The reality is that the West is fighting for survival. The West is financially ruined. The Americans sit with a $33 trillion overdraft. And that is not including the money owed by the various states and cities and municipalities and things like that. You add that in and it becomes a number that I don't even want to try and say. The Western world is fucked, bankrupt, bankrupt. They're trying their utmost to get up. Europe followed the instructions of the Americans and cut themselves off from the Russian gas. Now they've got a more of a problem with gas. So they're trying to get gas from Qatar and they, they are buying gas from America at a hell of a premium, five, six, seven times what they used to pay for Russian gas, all of that. But the European cabal sitting in the, polit uh, the EU Politburo there in Brussels is telling the people that they have managed to make themselves independent from Russian gas, which is bullshit. It's at a hell of a cost. But if you look at the realities, just offshore from Gaza is massive gas resources that they are now beginning to plan to extract to save Europe. That's why they want the people out of Gaza because Israel wants to annex that piece of land as well. So it's all about money. It's not about the people. The people are the collateral. But here is the collateral. Look at this little boy. Look at him. He lives in Gaza. Well, he lived there until they dropped a fucking bomb on his house. And then look at this little girl. She's running away from her family home that has been bombed to pieces and her whole family wiped out. She's the only survivor. And look at this little boy, sitting on the remnants of what used to be his family home, the only survivor. And then look at this, Jihad Hassanian on Israel bombing of Gaza. Elaine was killed with her sister Celine and her dad, her mom, her two brothers, her grandmother, her grandfather, her uncle, her aunt, and five of her cousins. But the media don't show you this. Don't headline this. No, no, no. They don't do that. But the fact of the matter is, it's all about the money. And the West, the Americans, they know that logically, there's no fucking way that they can hold on to that piece of land there in the middle of that Arabian continent.
but they are now flexing and they are posing and they're strutting all that fleet assets into the Mediterranean and whatnot. The fact of the matter is, every one of those boats, ships, is a floating coffin. If hell breaks loose, all you will see of those assets is bubbles. And then, my fear is, some dumbwit fucking idiot in the shit house will call for a nuclear strike. And if that happens, if they do that, the Northern Hemisphere is gone. I have republished uh, Skidmark today. You can find the link on my Telegram channel about the Russian dead hand. You should go and read and uh, listen to that thing to understand how dangerous it is what these guys are trying. But you must take another look at this map. Look at that. One of the roads go through Kazakhstan and then through Ukraine into Europe. That is why the Americans is trying to keep Ukraine under their control so that they can block the Belt and Road access there. Think about this. That's what they're trying to do. But they're not going to succeed. They're getting themselves whipped. The fact of the matter is, the West is not only financially bankrupt, they've been effectively demilitarized. They're out of weapons, they're out of ammunition, they're out of fucking everything. But they're posturing. The fact is, they will come short if they get into a serious conflict. There's an idiot sitting there in the shit house that think they can fight two and a half wars. They can't even fight one war. They've got, but the people in America fall for that bullshit. The people in Europe falls for that bullshit. But nobody talks about the real issue. The real issue is the money and the triple X. They will do everything possible to maintain their financial grip on the world. The Chinese economy is a mixed economy. Private sector and state-owned enterprises. And there's a damn good balance between the two. Because the Chinese has realized that they cannot go for the free market that the West has because that free market will allow corporates to get so powerful that they will eventually be the actual governments. And the Chinese didn't want that to happen. And incidentally, that is exactly the economic model that we had in South Africa under the apartheid regime, a mixed economy, that prevented corporates from getting too much power. And then this clever ANC, with their superior logic and natural intelligence, didn't understand what the fuck they inherited and they fucked everything up. And now they're bragging that we're going to rebuild it. They couldn't maintain the fucking thing. Now they want to rebuild the thing. Now that's, that's a topic for another skid mark. The fact of the matter is, look at what's happening in the Middle East. There's a lot of people being killed daily. It is actually genocide what is being committed there. But the, it's not about the people. It is not about God's chosen people. It's all about money and the tools that can maintain that money stream. And the Tel Aviv Zionist regime are dead set on forcing the belt and the road, road route to the Mediterranean through Israel so that they can sit on the tap. But the Chinese and the Iranians and the Russians, they're not going to play that game. They are working hard now to stabilize Syria. I have said it in a previous skidmark. The Americans, if they have common sense, they'll pack all their bases up in the Middle East. 
take all their assets, including all that fleet assets that they are now posturing with in the Mediterranean, take them back to America, home them in America, and send the message out, this is America, this is our country, if you come here, we will fuck you up. But then in your part of the world, do as you wish. Because they're going to sit around prodding the tiger, prodding the bear, looking for shit with the Arabs until all that military assets is destroyed. And then they can't protect themselves anymore. What's going to happen to them so then? These Americans cannot even keep their own southern border secure. But they want to fuck around in Ukraine and fuck around in Israel. Why? American people need to start asking that question. Your own country, America, are being invaded. But you play on your Xbox and you do your TikTok videos and that's the end of the story. So, let me close this and let you take another look at the Silk Road. And then think about it. Israel wants to be the gateway into the Mediterranean. And the Arabs and the Russians and the Chinese is not going to allow that. So, get that story that you've got in your head that Israel is the promised land and God will protect Israel and the Jews out of your head. It's not Jews in charge of Tel Aviv. It is Zionist Gazarians with a foundation deeper than you can imagine into triple X. That's it. So, think about that. They want to control the gateway of the belt and the road project into Europe. That is what they want to do. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. And I want to say thank you to the people that are supporting the channel financially. I really appreciate it. And as I've mentioned previously, you must, and uh, must, I suggest that you also join my Telegram group. Because Triple X doesn't like the things that I tell you. And if I'm on Telegram and you're on Telegram, you can get links to my skid marks there. And let's see if we can't get the subscriptions here on YouTube to 10,000. That will be nice. Have a great day.